So as you know, I said yes. I am going to attempt one more time, not two, one more time. I love you. Hi, you look so good. I think she's got little Michael with her. Hi. 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 Papa. Papa's home. Papa's home. No more travel. No <laughs> more travel. Too much racing. Oh, look at that, USA, everyone. USA, USA, USA. That's an eagle. Oh, that's the best. Do you know what this is? The boys made uh, stars. W? Yeah. Fly the Fly W. Fly the W. Fly I, put the w. It I put it upside down. I thought it was mountains. <laughs> I love it. W, USA, W. Oh, come on. Wow. 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 Oh, and we're back, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Believe it or not. True Love and I, we're actually homebodies. We love being in our home 99.9% .9 of the time. We just love being at home with the kids. Uh, this past five weeks has been incredible, but tiring. I didn't sleep last night, hence the Nespresso I'm drinking right now. Uh, just trying to stay awake the rest of the day so I can sleep tonight. Oh my God, what a journey we have been on. And we've got a few items to call little admin since we're back in the shooting oh, by the way a lot of new subscribe after a trip like argentina or uh, amsterdam or new york there's always a, uh, a a rush of subscribers welcome uh but if you're new you might be a little confused about what i'm doing standing out here this is actually technically my shed but it's filled with running shoes so this is where i film a lot of uh, the daily vlog where we talk about training and races and uh, all sorts of stuff and running shoe reviews. So the nickname for the shed is now the studio. So this is where I record running shoe reviews in the studio, here in the studio. Shoe, shoe, studio, studio. Speaking of running shoes, look what arrived when I was gone from running warehouse. There it is. Let's open these up. And yes, I haven't forgotten about running shoe reviews. It's just been... It's just been insane. Oh, also, this is the last day of, so I'm sorry about the audio. It just doesn't sound, it drives me crazy, but I've ordered some new battery packs and uh, for the lavalier, so the audio will be back to normal tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> it just, you know, this is part of, part of the adventure is breaking uh, video equipment along the journey. So here we go. What shoes do we have here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you ready for this? This is, uh, this is a little bit of a surprise, everyone. Again, um, for everyone that's new, like I, I run in all sorts of shoes. I run in Mizuno and Hoka and Saucony and Solomon and Innovate and on, there it is in the house on his next, oh yeah. The next, what is it, what is it? Oh, the next on cloud flow, there it is, oh my my. So listen, um, On is a unique company out of Switzerland. I'll just say unique, a very, very different midsole. And I will get you my first impressions next week after I am back from my running break. So just so you know, I am currently, I am currently not running. It's amazing. Um, it's just, uh, and we'll talk about the transition back to training later this week, but uh, I'm on a break. So my first impressions of this shoe will be happening next week. Oh, interesting color. It's kind of neat. It's like an earth tone brown red. Very cool. Okay. I'll put that there. And yes, a couple more points is that I have not forgotten about Nike either. So it just, I was planning to talk about Nike last week. Um, basically on my way to Argentina or in Argentina, it got too insane because I didn't have Wi-Fi in Argentina. Like it was really, really hard to upload the vlog every single day in Argentina. I actually ended up uh, uploading at the local chamber of commerce. They had the fastest internet in town. It was crazy. So anyway, I have not forgotten about the topic of Nike and what's happening there. Um, this week. Yeah. Now that I'm home, Oh, this week. I promise this week. I'm not going to say which day, but uh, this week we will talk 
about Nike. Okay, diving into the Olympic trials qualifier topic and pursuit and dream. Um, again, I'm trying to track down a two hour and 19 minute marathon before the end of January 2020 so that I can race in the Olympic trials qualifying race in Atlanta in late February. Um, I guess it's like mid, yeah, January 19th is the last day. So I have been mulling and thinking and uh, reflecting on 2019, which has been an amazing year on YouTube here uh, in the running world, but um, it hasn't gone necessarily as planned. But when does life go exactly as planned, right? When does a training block go as exactly as planned? When does, you know, you, I got to do better at this, but when does a race plan unfold as exactly like you hope? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And you just keep trying and being persistent. So as you know, I said, yes, I am going to attempt one more time, not two, one more time at an Olympic trials qualifier. But I'm an ultra runner who is transitioning uh, back from 50Ks, 50 milers, even an attempted 100 mile, transitioning back in distance to the marathon. So I am I still am putting myself in the rookie camp with respect to marathon uh, training and racing. Um, a, lot, a lot of people email me and say, hey, would you consider coaching me or writing me a marathon training plan? And listen, I have a lot of thoughts and ideas and I've listened to a lot of great, great coaches uh, who have coached Olympians. I was coached by uh, an incredible coach in college, Mark Wetmore. So I've I've absorbed a lot of wisdom over the years, 20 plus years of running. But I would not want to be, I would not feel comfortable being a coach right now or writing even, frankly, even writing like marathon training plans for someone until I, now I feel much better compared to a month ago before Amsterdam. Like I gained so much wisdom from Amsterdam and New York but um, I'm still not quite there where it's like, oh yeah, okay, these are the workouts. These are the, this is the amount of volume uh, you should be running in your marathon training. Like I've got a lot of thoughts, but I'm just not nailed it. I haven't nailed it down yet. Therefore, I asked this question of the day last week, seeking all of your wisdom. I'll just say CIN, Houston, and what distances, okay? Half, full, now I get it. 104 for a half marathon is 452 a mile. What? So the answers to that question of the day down in the comments rocked my world. I, and the reason I asked it because I seriously was trying to seek out wisdom from all of you, from especially the veterans out there who are, you know, really, really experienced marathon runners um, and ro specifically road marathon runners. And I read them. I, I think I got through all of them. There's a lot of comments, uh, but, from all of that and processing, and I knew it would take me at least five days, maybe a week, and sure enough, it took over a week to really nail down, okay, what is gonna be my best chance to arrive at the starting line in Atlanta for the Olympic trials in the marathon? And after reading, after processing, talking to True Love, right? Remember we've talked about how the family, in my opinion, if you know, and not everyone, I realize not everyone's married or has a family, but your, your close friends, your, um, your teammates, your, uh, your local running club, like they, they might be able to shed some really good insights into big decisions with respect to what races you, in fact, for example, my brother and I, we're talking right now about our 2020 racing season and just bouncing ideas off each other. So anyway, True Love and I, we've been chit-chatting and talking, and at the end of the day, I have decided, along with True Love, that my last attempt at Olympic, and remember, it's the half marathon or the marathon, CIM, so the California International Marathon, or Houston. That's basically the only options left. There's other options, but those are the two fast races with great competition. And um, the 106.53 in Amsterdam really got me thinking about my speed and maybe I could track down a 104 half. So you're probably ready, like Seth, spit it out. All right, here it comes. I've decided that the Houston Marathon will be my last, yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I get it, three marathons in four to five months is you don't do that. Don't do that. This is a unique situation. Um, I decided that 
my last, <laughs> you guys are think you guys probably think I'm crazy. My last half marathon on the roads was eight or nine years ago. I don't have the experience right now to go out and race 452 a mile. Even if I, like, I don't even know if I can get to that speed. I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to, just so you know, in 2020, I am going to race one half marathon, maybe two, but at least one on the roads at sea level. So that's coming. I'm coming for you, 452s. But in the next eight weeks, nine weeks, I just know that um, developing that type of speed, it's not enough time. It's not enough time. So therefore, Houston it is. Get out your iPhones. Get out your GoPros. Uh, not only am I doing it, but I'm actually in. Like I, I got I got the thumbs up uh, from the race. And so I'm in. Here we come. Uh, oh, I should know the date probably. I think it's January 19th, 2020. So I'm excited. We'll definitely do a group run down in Houston. And with that said, I'm actually excited. And by the way, I did not run today in these, just, just so you know. Uh, and, with, and with that said... Um, and I know the 2019 racing season is not uh, over. I, I'm done racing in 2019. I know it's not done for everybody, uh, but I just have to ask, question of the day, has your 2019 race, and think, like if you're in high school or maybe, yeah, but think back to track, indoor, like it's, January and February, it feels like a long time ago for me, but like think all the way back to January, all the way up to the present, we're, we're almost in December, has your 2019 racing season um, unfolded as you expected, or is it throwing you some curveballs? I know it's throwing me some more curveballs and fastballs, so uh, that's the question of the day. Thanks for hitting it up. Thanks for listening to that, and uh, that is my final decision on uh, one more attempt at an Olympic trials qualifier again shout out to all the new subscribers from argentina and so good to meet all of you down there um this is a daily running vlog where we have a good time and uh i gotta go to bed i gotta go to bed so that said i'm gonna toss it back to uh amsterdam and new york race vlogs on the right and the left if you haven't seen those from the last five weeks uh pretty exciting marathon races there all right everyone seek beauty work hard and love each other See you tomorrow.